Hey everyone, Michael here. So I'm going to be going over the leak code question, first unique character in a string. So the problem statement is given a string, find the first non-repeating character in it and return its index. If it doesn't exist, return negative one. So if we look at the examples that they give you, if you had the string leak code, uh, you should return the index zero. And at index zero is the letter L. And the reason why 0 is the answer is because L is the first non-repeating character. There is only one count of L in the string leak code. And since it's the first one in the string, you return the index of that particular character. So if we look at the second example, love leak code, uh, we should return 2, an index of 2, which corresponds to the character V. And also, since V has only a count of one in this entire string and it's the first first non-repeating character you return the index of that character uh, so I will go over kinda of the idea of how to solve this problem so if we have the string love leak code as we just saw the first thing we want to do is we want to actually get the count of all of our characters in our string um, once we have the count of all of our characters in the string, then we want to compare all of the characters that we've counted, and we want to find which one has a value of 1. And when we find that character that has a value of 1, we know we will find our answer. So I'm going to go through the example. It'll make a lot more sense. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a count of characters count of all the characters in this string lovely code so we can let's say we're iterating over this string we're gonna start at L okay so L uh, now has a count of one we know there's one L here okay now we move over to O now O has a count of one move over to V now V has a count of one E has a count of 1. Now we hit a second L, so this changes to a 2. We hit a count 2. Uh, now we hit two more E's, so two more E's. That should change to a 3. We have three E's now. Now we hit a T. That has a count of 1. Go to C. That also has a count of 1. And now O. That changes to a 2. Oop. And then D. That's 1. And then finally we hit an E. And that changes to a count of So, we have the count of all of our characters in this particular string. So now, how do we actually get the answer? How do we find the first non-repeating character? Well, we have a mapping of character to integer right now. So all we have to do is all we, we have to iterate over our string one more time, comparing the character that we're at to the key value pairs that we just mapped and once we find a value of one we know that that'll be our answer because that'll be the first non-repeating because we're iterating from left to right and we know that the first non-repeating will be on uh, will be leftmost so this is the second part of the algorithm we're gonna iterate over love leak code one more time so let's say I'll erase all these arrows. So let's say we're iterating and now we're looking at L. So L has a count of 2. We know that that can't be the answer. Okay, now we're iterating over. We find an O. O has a count of 2. That can't be the answer. Now we're iterating to V. O. V has a count of 1. So we know that has to be our answer because it's the first non-repeating. 
all we're doing is iterating over lovely code one more time and we can get our answer just by checking if the value of that character is one so we will write the code for this but first I think it's good to understand what the algorithm is and there, it's a really simple algorithm there's only two steps to it so the first step is getting a count of all of our characters in the string and our second step is comparing our input string characters to the uh, key value pairs that we have just created. So compare input string characters to our key value pairs. And that's it. Those are the only two steps of the algorithm. So let me put this up here. And we can start with step one, getting a count of all the characters. So how do we get a count of all the characters? Well, the easiest way to do this would be to use a hash map and pretty much just have your keys as the characters and your values as your uh, integers. So we can create a hash map of character to integer and we can just call it our count map. Uh, so then now we need to iterate over our input string, which is called s. So we could say for int i equals 0, i is less than s dot length. Uh, and there's pretty much two scenarios now that we have to think about as we're iterating over this input string. And that's whether or not we've actually seen this character. Because if we've seen the character already, then we need to take the value that's currently in the count map and just add one to it. However, if we haven't seen the character yet, then we can just set set it to one. So let's do that right now. We can say if count map dot contains the key, and then this will be just an if else statement. We want to get our character, so we can say char. Uh, we can call it letter equals s dot char at i. So we're just getting the specific character at the index i. So if our count map contains the key letter, if it's already in there, then we just need to update the value. So we can say count map dot put of letter, and then we're going to get the previous value so we say count map dot get letter so we're getting the previous count and then we just add one to it so if we haven't contained if we're, we don't contain the key then we're just going to be setting it to one we're not updating anything so we can just say put letter and it's a value of one at this point so that's step one. Step two now is we need to compare the input string characters to our key value pairs. So we're pretty much just going to iterate over our input string again. So we can do it like this. We can say for int i, i is less, less than s dot length. Um, and we can also just get our character letter once again and now all we need to do is actually compare our letter to our, our count map now so all we have to say is if count map dot get letter equals one then we know that we found our first non-repeating character because it's a value of one so if we do find one that has a value of one, then we can just say return i, which we're, all we're doing is returning the index of that character. Uh, 
if we do not find an answer we can see up here it says if it doesn't exist return negative one so outside of this for loop we can just say return negative one and this is in the case that we don't find an answer so we can submit this and while submitting I'll go over what we've done so first we get a count of all the characters and we do that using a hash map and we have a key value pair of our characters to integers so we're just getting a count and step two we compare our input characters to our key value pairs that we've just created and we just want to check if the value that we're trying to check for is a one then we know we found our first non-repeating character and that is because we're iterating from left to right our left our leftmost characters are going to be the first non-repeating character if we find a one So that is how you solve the first unique character in a string problem on leak code. Please let me know if you guys want me to do any specific problem. I'm just choosing problems at random to do. Um, if you want me to go over more difficult problems as well, I can do that. Uh, just let me know in the comments. All right, thank you.